My name is Maria Matveva and I am a singer. I was born in Siberia and I have traveled around the world getting to know different cultures and searching my artistic inspiration. At the time when I was singing opera, I had a dream to collaborate with my favorite artist, Eric Mouquet, the leader of the legendary group Deep Forest. I always was a big fan of this group and I really love their music. Finally, my dream has come true. We met in France and began our collaboration and as a result produced some tracks inspired by the harmony and magic of my land. This is my experiment with an innovative musical ideas which provided the inspiration for this musical project. We mixed different styles, lyric voice, electronic sounds and ethnic elements. Together with Eric Mouquet, we have composed songs in electro world music style. I've chosen to follow this way because I felt the need to share with my audience a colors, charm, mysteries and sounds of an unknown world. At the same time, I have a possibility to tell the story of my life, places where I came from, about incredible people that I have met in my life, shamans, princesses and ordinary people. I am seeking the way to create different original musical mosaic. The stories I tell are related to Siberia to the Altai Mountains called Russian Tibet. Russia is a great country that has rediscovered its traditions after dark times. It boasts a rich folklore full of colors and shades that are very important for an artist's creativity. The inspiration for the song Princess of Yukok comes from a really fascinating story. In 1993, a group of archaeologists from Novosibirsk, led by Natalia Palasmak, discovered a sacred place at the foot of the mountains on the Ukok Plateau in the Altai Mountains region of Russia, called the Russian Shambhala. This region is one of the most mystical places in the world, where there is still a strong presence of shamanic culture and tribal peoples has of the Gorni Altai Kurgan Pazire culture. It's a timeless place where people still live in harmony with nature and communicate with the spirits. The group of archaeologists found an ancient mummy of a mysterious young woman known as the Ukok Princess by the name of the place where she was found, Ukok Plateau. Shamans from Altai believe that white mistress or Akkadin, like they call her in their language, was a spiritual priestess and her early death was a part of her spiritual mission. She was a guardian of a peace, thus she maintains a balance between our world and the world of shadows. Princess of Ukok is a symbol of Altai, and she is protector of this land. In this song, I express my spiritual connection with the Princess of Ukok, singing about her difficult destiny and her return to our times from the magical land of Altai to the whole world. <laughs> 